Hey, my name is Teresa, and this is my adventure to the Georgia Mushroom Festival. I meet lots of cool mushroom people, wow. find some cool critters on a night hike, get private lessons from the world's leading mycologist, Alan Rockefeller. So let's go, like and subscribe. My mushroom buddy Dan. I'm pretty much gonna follow him around and listen to him tell corny jokes to everyone we meet. Beat me at arm wrestling. Oh, you should do this arm wrestling competition. You think you can win? <laughs> Come on. I wouldn't want to shame the guy. Oh, is that how it is? Yeah, all right. Oh yeah. Is that why? Oh my god, he just tells these corny jokes everywhere he goes. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Me too. Nice to talk to you. I like your painting. Thank you. It's awesome. This one? Um, I don't remember. You haven't seen that before. That's why you don't remember. Oh. It's a willow oak. Oh, willow oak? Oh, nice. Hey. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <laughs> what is it? Pelletized manure. What? No way. Uh, sorry, sure, so I know you're doses, macro like, doses. I all the it. time. Do you do macro doses? I've only done it like once, but it's scary what as size? shit. Uh, I don't know, because I was just like eating it and aliens abducted me. I just did a 50 gram dose what? this year in the beginning. How was that? It felt like ayahuasca. It I bet. It felt very similar to huh. an ayahuasca trip. It was beautiful. And Whoa. I thought it would be longer, but it was just about the same amount of time as a 5 grammer or a 10 grammer. Really? But just really intense. intense. Wow. Yeah. And I've gotten better at cruising. So yeah. Yeah. Did you see the aliens or what? I actually <laughs> see more in music. I can hear the huh. music between the beats. I can see patterns. Wow. I, can, I have more muscle control. Like Interesting. I can, I can dance like a Jabberwocky at certain oh, doses. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, <laughs> Dang. Yeah, yeah. Cool, man. Uh, so uh, this is your business? Yeah. You guys are selling soft launch. I okay. literally got oh. this product finished like last week. Nice, <laughs> so it's man. Just so, oh, that's so, exciting. Um, it's going to be in grow shops and whatnot. Simple, Ooh. but... If people are serious about growing, what kind of manure thing, is it? Cow. Cow. cow okay. Dairy manure. So cool. So basically, the whole idea behind manure is it's partially digested straw, which yeah. has the most nutrients that the mushrooms want. Cool. Most people try to grow on cocoa, which is just like yeah, lettuce, it's just water. Yeah. It's just it's not giving. That's great. Tell her about this tree that you're under right now. What do you call it? Oh, it's a willow. The what? Some kind of willow. Willow. He's yeah. been teaching me trees no, too. Not quite. Wait, what is it? Willow oak. Willow oak. oak. Willow yeah. oak. It's a Are you an arborist? No, I just like Oh, yeah. Stuff. Willow oak. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Are you guys in camping? Yeah. Are you guys? Right, so we, cool. We'll help. Fuck yeah. <laughs> nice meeting you. Bye. Have a good one. Thanks. It's so cute. Yeah. I want everything. With a little loving care. Ashes and embers. Yeah, I saw them yesterday. He's got some cool ratio over here. What kind of mushroom is this one? That is a ratio mushroom. It's ganoderma multiplied. And I like the nutrient. Yeah. It'll end up growing out really long antlers. It'll look kind of different when it's all said and done. What did you do the other Thanks, man. We're going to do a little cloning demo shortly. Brenda's walking around right there getting some pictures. Nice. And we're just trying to find some uh, supplies to cover the cost of the trip. Man. Yeah, that's, that's awesome, fun. man. It's fun. 
You know, oh, we're yeah. loving it, Hunter. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, yeah, you go ahead. The good stuff. <laughs> oh, that looks like a cool picture. Dude, that little thing is nice. parts of the festival was the night hike. There's lots of fungi that glow in UV light, but we didn't find too many fungi, but we did find some other cool critters. What is it? A centipede? Oh my god! Oh god. And the daddy long legs. Oh, is that too much for you? Whoa, that's freaking cool! Isn't that cool? You see the little oh, antenna? Wow! I'm sorry, can you hold the light? Yes. That yeah. is, that's from the Manly Sister Desmond Day, and they release cyanide, so they actually smell like cherries. Sister oh. Desmond Day? Yes. That's Ooh, awesome. All the bugs are getting us because we have all the oh, lights down here. Oh, you know how much I'm so sorry, the Sister Desmond Day we have here? Why did that happen? I didn't here in the southeast. Oh, Daddy Longwood. Sure. Daddy. The video that's so cool. I'd have to look at Why it. Why does it, it show up so? Area. I'm covered in bugs right now. Bugs are all over us. But it's worth it. Bloody. Bugs oh. love the ultraviolet lights. Yeah, but they do. I guess I need to get a, a, a photo without the ultraviolets so okay. I can identify this thing. Huh. Unless it's a male, you won't be able to identify this species. So. Oh, and if it's a male, do you have to like flip it over? Or yeah, to look at the gonopods. Oh, yeah. Oh, she knows all the words. Yeah. Uh, Melopies were the focus of my thesis. Oh. Oh, oh, awesome. That's awesome. Just over here. Hell yeah. Uh, bug people and mushroom people go together. Very yeah, well. yeah. Well, there actually yeah, are quite combo. a few orders of millipedes that have very close associations with fungus and exclusively yeah. eat fungus. Oh, cool. That's neat. I didn't know that. If it was a boy, it would have feet on its chest. Those are the gonopods or false feet. Huh. Um, and so you can only identify millipedes down to a species level using the branching of the gonopods um, because it's a true like lock and key fit into Whoa. the female. There's some kind of then, bug on me. You can give it a little sniff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does it smell like? Almonds. Yeah. What? So, what does it smell like? This family of Whoa. millipedes, Sister Desmidae, or the flat-backed millipedes, oh, wow. release cyanide so gas as wow. a defense mechanism. Oh. Uh, Didn't not work on to us. <laughs> yeah, <Right? laughs> it doesn't harm you, but it yeah, smells yeah, like yeah. cherries or smells like almonds to some people. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Pour the water away, and then grab some of this oil. It doesn't take much. I want like half a drop. So mm -hmm. it's the river. And it's that's so cool though I love that you can just use vegetable oil what the hell it has almost the same index of huh. refraction as the immersion oil so oh, it's 99% like as good as the immersion oil well, that's good to know cool this is awesome Looks like a biting moth or fucker. It's me. Oh, wait a minute. That is not, that's that's not a moth after all. I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, it's some kind of fly. Fly? No longer with us. My heart broke. I had to play. 
my questions when I am trying to sequence something, my main question is, what did I find? Uh, it doesn't have a name yet. And what's it closely related to? And where else in the world does it occur? So DNA barcoding is the best type of DNA sequencing to use to answer those kinds of questions. Thank <laughs> you.